my journey to Penn State, I grew up on the south side of Chicago. I played high school at Mother Macaulay. From then, I went to Penn State as a student athlete and loved every minute of it. I was fortunate enough to be on some really great teams. From Penn State, I went on to a coaching career. I became an assistant coach at Penn State for the last four seasons. Dig the ball on the sideline. Yep, dig the ball on the sideline. And then now, I'm the third head coach at Penn State for women's volleyball. Passing the torch to Katie, it's a wonderful thing because of the relationship I have with her. And just knowing that she's going to care about the kids and yet she's still going to have high standards. Filling Coach Rose's shoes, you know, as they say, no one can replace him. He's an icon. He is Penn State Volleyball and he is why we are here today. I do feel a great responsibility to carry on his legacy. Playing for coach was hard. He was demanding on all aspects of our training, but he also always wanted the best. Schumacher setting. Levy takes this way. In return, it was for you to be a part of something really special. Pass, set Detmer. She hit it out, and the East has risen. I'm where I am today because of him. As an athlete, we didn't know he was always in the office. We didn't know what he was doing all day long. You know, we just showed up to practice. He knew the game backwards and forwards. He knew our opponent better than anyone. The amount of time that he put in was remarkable. That's something that I saw working alongside him. We laughed a lot. There wasn't a day that went by that we didn't laugh about something. And I think we had a great relationship being both from Chicago. We always had that tie. He was a great coach, but I think an even better friend. I'm not sure if I ever had an assistant that cared as much for me, about me, as Katie did. And I'm trying to give that back to her because I feel that strongly about her and her family. I love that my daughters get to see him and know him as a coach, but also, you know, this funny guy in the office that gives him candy. I have three daughters, they're 12, 11, and eight. I owe a lot to my husband, Mike, because he is phenomenal with them. They all wanna play volleyball. They've tried all their sports. They'll play basketball, they've tried lacrosse, they swim. I just want them to be full-rounded and know that they don't have to play a sport if they don't want to, but you know, it's kinda of hard when they're in this atmosphere and they love you know, the Penn State girls and they're around it a lot. My husband, you know, played in the NFL, so he gets it. He's all about women's volleyball and Penn State and being successful. Her dad played football at Michigan for Bo, and her brother ended up playing football at Illinois. It's an athletic family, and they understood hard work and making a commitment. I have this family that it's just supportive of women and being great, and so I'm, I'm really lucky to be where I'm at. Shot. There's no way that they can hit down the line. So you have to move into the court and get the tip, okay? When I get to look back and I see Katie having known her when she was 16 or 17 years old, and now she's got three young daughters that are keeping her and Mike on their toes, and she also has to be a good role model for student athletes. I know that there's a lot of fire in that young lady. You gotta dig that out in front of you. It's, it's behind your knee. I'm trying to be as helpful with providing her my thoughts and insights, but it's her program and the staff and the new players have really, really made me proud at this point. Aggressive defense gonna win, okay? Yeah. Let's go. We wanna win. We always wanna win, but you know, for me it's more than that. We're gonna work really hard and we're gonna do the right things. It's producing the best team we can and helping this team to be successful and to help them find their path on and off the court.